I have waited for this product so long. And what is it? The model is XY6008DC regulated power supply step down module CNC adjustable DC stabilized power constant voltage constant current. And take a look, it can handle 60 volts, 8 amperes and total output power of 480 watts. It, it comes in two versions with Wi-Fi support and without, I think I ordered it without Wi-Fi support. And it's a great module, it's digital power supply. And of course, I got it. Oh, I forgot to tell you, it's not cheap. It's around 44 US dollars and I think it's worth it. Let's open the box now. Oh, bubbles, no, why? This product should be with bubbles. Ooh. XY6008. Numerically controlled DC regulated power supply 60 volts 8 amperes 480 watts Also, you can scan the code so you can download the, the app and Connect with your device But I ordered it without Wi-Fi support Okay Ooh. It's protected with this foam, which is nice. And did you know that this thing comes together with the remote control? You can control the power supply using this small remote control and also have memories for voltages. For example, I'm gonna hit one and the voltage will go to 5 volts. When I hit M5, the voltage will go to 12 volts from distance. I don't know, I don't need to go with my hand and adjust the voltage. Just hit the number and I get the voltage. What is that? A wire. Okay. Let's remove this thing. Oh, nothing more. And let's take a closer look of this module take a look the plastic is nice Ooh, rotating the knob with that sound tick, 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 tick. probably these buttons will be lighting up oh we have a fan Mm, nice touch. That's why this thing will hold 60 volts and 8 amperes. It have a fan. And the main voltage for input goes on this connector. I'm gonna connect two wires. Positive and negative. Okay. Should I remove it? No. Let me tell you some specification about amazing DC power supply. Input voltage 6 to 70 volts, output voltage from 0 to 60 volts, output current from 0 to 8 amperes, power range from 0 to 480 watts, input voltage measurement resolution 0.01 volt, current setting measurement resolution 0.001 amper. Okay. But it says pro product working temperature range from minus 10 to plus 40 degrees, capacity measurement range from 0 to 99,000 amperes, also for the watt hours to 99,000 watt hours, maximum output voltage, input voltage, what is this, I don't know. The cooling fan is turned on and then turned off at current of 1.5 ampere, power 45 watts, temperature 45 degrees and the product size is 125 millimeters by 55 by 35 millimeters also comes with power 
remote control, serial communication line, and Wi-Fi communication module that is not this model, but using this short cable and a Bluetooth Bluetooth receiver and transmitter that I have, but I'm gonna mention that in another video. And what else I wanted to mention? And a couple of weeks ago, I reviewed this power supply. This is I. I think it was 50 volts and 8 amperes and now I'm gonna connect them together in a box and have a great adjustable digital power supply but in today's video I will not do that oh, only I will review this unit I'm gonna hook up DC power in and take a look at the screen and the functions building the power supply will be another video combining these two together by the way this is heavy all the links will be in description below so you can check it also for the power supply and for the adjustable power unit okay let's test it now we connect two wires positive and negative and on this connector that go to the module and I'm so excited to see how it works. Powering in 3, 2, 1. Ooh. Beautiful. Ooh. Take a look at the screen and all the buttons on off voltage set current set beautiful cycling through the menu menu i don't know from where to start to explain about this amazing adjustable DC power supply and let's start with voltage and current yes you can set by pressing the voltage and with this thing you can adjust the voltage let's say 9 volts hit ok and it's set on 9 volts but we don't have output until you turn it on and now we have 9 volts turning on turning off also is it's is the same for the current you're pressing the current and down here you can adjust the the current that you want it okay turn it off 830 milliampers and now we have constant current with constant voltage also on the display it's shown the voltage the amper the watts also it have this is internal temperature or the, or the room temperature I don't know we have the beeping signal I can turn it that off this is the second menu with amper hours and watt hours and the time and the input voltage says that is 13 volts okay and this is the bar graph of the voltmeter. Take a look what happens when you turn on the voltage. Alright. This is nice future. You can monitor on this bar graph the voltage. And the current also. Oh. Okay. Let's go to this. You can set a lot of functions here. I'm gonna check that also and here it is the menu when where I can control the brightness from 5, 4, 3, 2 ok also you can change to Celsius or Fahrenheit it have auto power off and here it is the beeping signal should I turn it off or on 
I'm gonna go to on. What is this? On. Beautiful. So many functions. You can also change the colors of the of, of the voltage of the current, whatever you want. And that's it. Ooh, I love it. I love it. And for me, the best feature is the remote control. Why? Because you can go to, let's say, to this, to the, this many, and there, I, I, how much? Nine presets with memories of voltages. You can set uh, for each memory the voltage, the current to be power on or power off, whatever you want. And take a look. When you press shift and memory one, it goes to five volts and the current is set on eight amperes. Pressing memory two, it go to three volts. Now it can deliver one amper or going to memory three, it will give nine volts and the current is set on three amperes. I don't need to go with my hand and set off all of it. I have the remote control. Just press it, M1, and I got 5 volts, 8 amperes. Nice future, and I like it. Okay. Uh, let's try the, to attach some kind of load now. So I hook up a car bulb as load, so you can see some stuff. And right now it's turn it off, turn it on. I'm delivering 3 volts and 1 amper and there is a small light ok, turning off when I hold memory 2 let's say memory 2 is set on 3 volts 1 amper ok let's hit memory 3 9 volts and 3 amperes hitting on and take a look it's pulling 1.5 amper and I can hear it, the fan. Let's power off. Ooh, because it's pulling above 1.5 amper, the fan is turned on, as, I, as it says in the specification, which is super cool. All right. And let's go shift to 3 volts immediately. Power on. Okay, let's say five volts. Power on. Ooh, I love it. I love it. I need to find a great box. Only that. That is a problem for me to find a box, a special box. In any time, you can change the voltage and the current by pressing this button and you can adjust the voltage, let's say, to 4.7 4 volts hitting the current, you can set the current to and now I set to 400 to 740 milliampers power off, power on everything is working fine let's take a look at the remote control it's pretty with power on, off, shift button for the memories we have left, right, up, down, ok you can, you have a button for setting the voltage, the current and how much 9 memories on the remote control it's handy and I love it I need to mention this feature when you go to this menu and going to over it have over voltage protection and over current protection is set right now for to 1.5 amperes so you can see it have over protection for voltage and for current and okay now we set on 1.6 amperes to, to deliver but take a look when I make a short it's not turned on Okay, turn it on. 
and take a look over current protection is turned on and that is the nice function so you can protect your module and with one press you reset it can be set for the current and for the voltage nice one nice unit and I love it and I think by my opinion this thing is worth the money next video will be place it in the box together with the power supply for this unit that was all for today video please give a like share and subscribe to my channel see ya when you hold it it will turn off Ooh, one press turning on beautiful and we have a green light awesome